Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I'm excited to introduce you to another Final Cut Pro X effect slash plugin. This one's called Halftone. So, after you download this plugin from the site, you're gonna go ahead and open up your user directory, navigate to your movies folder, and find motion templates. Inside of motion templates, you'll look for effects, open that up. If you have a 40 TV folder in here, you're just gonna go ahead and drag in a halftone into the 40 TV folder. If you do not, then just go ahead and drag the whole 40 TV folder into your uh, effects folder. Now that we've got that out of the way, let me minimize this window and let's begin. I already have Final Cut Pro X open. If you had it open during the install, go ahead and close and reopen the app. Once you've done that, let's begin. I have four clips loaded in my timeline. This first clip is of me in front of a green screen uh, with a background generated from Final Cut Pro X. Over here we have our effects browser. You can open it by clicking on this button if it's not already open. Scroll down until you see 40 TV and find halftone. I'll go ahead and double click to apply it to my clip. This is applying it just to the clip of me in front of the green screen which has already been keyed out. I'm going to scroll over here to my uh, inspector and open it up to reveal the options. You'll see inside my pattern selector I have a few different options. In fact, let me uh, zoom in on my clip so you can actually see the patterns that are being applied. First we have a pattern selector. We have dots 1, dots 2, squares 1, squares 2, squares 3, x pattern 1, and x pattern 2. For this particular clip, I'm going to go with X Pattern 2. At a 50, uh, the number 50 here means that this clip is using the default saturate, saturation that this clip had applied. If I drag this down to zero, it's going to desaturate my clip. If I bring it up to 75, I'm going to increase the saturation by a value of 1. If I bring it up to 100, I'm going to increase the saturation by a value of 2. If I f uh, zoom out, you can see better what this is doing to my clip. For this particular example, I'm going to desaturate the clip by bringing it down to zero. Next, we have an option here for light scan. What this does is this adds a uh, line and you can, let's see, this may not be the, there we go. You see this uh, glowing line that's going to go through my clip either vertically or vertically or horizontally or both vertically and horizontally. This is going to scan uh, back and forth across my clip for the, the length of the clip as it plays. This is auto animated. So for this particular example I'm going to turn this off. To give this uh, clip maybe a kind of a hologram-ish look, I'm going to click on all and I'm going to search for bad TV. I'm going to apply this clip after the halftone effect. I'm going to increase the amount maybe to 60 and change this to white noise. I'll bring my playhead back to the beginning and I'll preview this. Now without halftone applied this would just look like bad TV. With halftone this gives it this, uh, just a different look. So let's uh, move along. Here's an example of the same clip create or the same two clips created into a compound clip with halftone applied to the background. As you can see, the lights or the um, the light screen is being automated on both axes in the background, both horizontally and vertically, just adding some more depth to this already interesting background. If I look at this uh, next compound clip, you'll see that I'm using the horizontal line and this is being applied to the compound clip itself. So it's being applied to myself as well as the background. If I scroll back over to the beginning, I can select this still image of a shot I took while I was hiking of these white flowers. I can turn halftone on, set my light scan to vertical, and maybe increase my saturation slightly, maybe to 65. I'm gonna, um, whoops. I'm going to go ahead and bring my playhead to the beginning of my uh, timeline and press spacebar to preview this. This gives it just a little bit more of an interesting look. Obviously if this was cropped, placed inside something that was masked out, that would give it some, some new flavor. I hope you guys like this effect and you can find many uses for all your different projects. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Till next time, I'm out.